Okay, awesome. So as I was saying, welcome everyone. We appreciate you guys for taking a little bit of time to come and uh, uh, check out our preceptorial this afternoon or morning, depending on where you are. And um, yeah, welcome to Comedy 101. So just to give a quick overview of what we're going to be doing today, um, we're going to give sort of an overview of what the group is, Mask and Wig as a whole. Um, then we'll do an intro to bit writing, uh, which uh, Steph, our head writer, and Justin, our cast director, will uh, present to you all. Um, and then we'll split you guys up into breakout rooms, and y'all will have the, uh, the chance to um, you know, go through and create your own bit and see how far you can get uh, in about half an hour. Um, and then we'll come back, sort of uh, present your ideas to the larger group um, from, uh, from the teams, and then we'll leave it open for Q&A um, at the end. Um, so moving on. Uh, so this is just sort of a snapshot of uh, who some of the people on the call are today and uh, also who um, you can get into contact with if you're interested in participating in any particular sections or, or have any you know, particular questions about the applications, auditions, um, anything like that. And no need to take down these emails now. We'll be sending out the PowerPoint afterwards. So um, you can just grab it from there. Um, but my name's Will Deo. Uh, I'm in the top left there. Um, I'm the chairman of the group for this upcoming year, um, class of 2021 in the College in Engineering. And also joining me um, a little bit later on will be Justin and Steph, which are in the, who are in the bottom left there. Um, and yeah, if you have any questions pertaining to any of the other sections, feel free to um, give a shout to, you know, Sid, the band leader, uh, Dean, the biz manager, or John, the uh, stage manager in charge of uh, stage crew. So, uh, just kind of a quick overview of what we do every year. Um, you know, obviously we're a performing arts group, so the bulk of what we do is put on a production, right? So we put on two uh, full-length productions um, each year, uh, one in the fall semester and one in the spring semester. In the fall semester, uh, we do an on-campus show over a weekend. We usually do seven or eight shows in a weekend. It's a hectic and, and awesome weekend, I would say. Um, and it's uh, sort of in a SNL bit style um, sort of format. And, um, you know, there are some musical numbers, but most of the time it's just comedic bits, like what you might be writing today, um, and interspersed with some band fillers, band pieces here and there. And it, it's a, it's a great time, um, on campus. And then in the spring semester, uh, we do our own sort of full length show and it's a little bit more of a cohesive story. Um, also with some bits, um, interspersed here and there. Uh, the band uh, sort of functions as a pit orchestra and um, you know we perform in our own theater in center city philadelphia um, and also take the show on the road over spring break uh, which i'll touch on in a sec um, but really the group is sort of more than uh, just a performing arts group more than a club um, and you know mask and wig has been where i've met some of my closest friends it's where i've met my roommates it's where i've met people that i take classes with and you know people that i'm really good friends with and will continue to be um, you know into the future and that's something that's really awesome we have alumni all over the country and and sort of beyond and and those who you know keep in contact with each other uh, pretty frequently and um, you know even over here um, it's a good group you'll find people who study the same things as you people who uh, have similar interests you know non-academic whether it's you know sports or or uh, tv shows movies anything like that um, and you also often find some of your roommates for the next couple of years after freshman year you know people always who are down to grab lunch or what have you and finally, a couple perks that come alongside being involved in the group. Um, as I mentioned before, our spring show happens in our very own theater in Center City, Philadelphia, which is definitely a unique um, experience and, and something that um, is sort of unique to our group and, and is a uh, you know, great experience to see a show sort of run from end to end, not only on the creative side, but also on sort of the operations and production side. Um, as I mentioned before, you also get the chance to go on a spring break uh, tour every year um, where we take the show on the road usually to, um, you know, three or four cities across the country or even beyond um, and also get to spend some time um, in between shows in, in those cities. So past destinations have included Chicago, Montreal, London, San Francisco, Paris and, and so many others. Um, and there's a couple uh, quick snapshots from 
our trip to Europe about a year and a half ago. Um, and yeah, so moving into sort of how the group operates from a structural standpoint and how you guys will, you know, eventually apply an audition for the group. Uh, we have four main sections, the cast and writing section, the band, the business staff and the crew. Um, so launching into the cast first uh, quickly. Um, the cast is really where most of our comedy from end to end comes from. And, um, you know, that takes part in, uh, sorry, it takes place in everything from the writing process through um, acting, dancing, singing, everything like that. Um, and they are involved in, you know, the writing and performance of both of the shows and across a whole different range of, of different uh, media, uh, you know, digital, in person, on stage, all these different sort of things. Um, and certainly what's, what's awesome is that, you know, there's no need for any performance background or singing background or musical background or anything like that. If you just, you know, want to act or you want to write or you want to sing, you know, come and join our group and you know, there's always a spot for you. Um, moving into um, the band, um, the band is, you know, sort of an interesting group. We serve as both, you know, a stage band for both of the shows that we do, um, the fall show and the spring show, and working as both, um, you know, a filler band and a uh, sort of pit orchestra. Uh, but we also do our own gigs, band parties. Uh, we get hired to do gigs by other campus groups and by the university for various things. Um, and it's really an awesome experience. Some of my best memories, um, myself being in the band, some of my best memories um, from, from college have definitely come from some of these performances. And it's really an awesome experience. Uh, this year in particular, a little plug, uh, where we're looking for a new drummer and we're looking for sax players and trombone players. So if you um, play any of those instruments, um, you know, shoot Sid, our band leader, a quick message um, after this and indicate on our interest form on the on the website. Um, the business staff um, is uh, sort of a hub for all of our logistics operations and, and promotion and, and all of those great things. And it really uh, is an opportunity for people who don't necessarily want to be too involved on the creative side of the, of the content that we push out, but definitely still want to be a part of the group um, and, and contribute in, in a pretty meaningful way. Um, so they sort of handle everything from the promotion of our shows, ticket sales, um, you know, fundraising through ad sales, as well as, um, you know, creating some of our digital content from an editing standpoint, um, and uh, all of that great stuff. And certainly uh, no prior expertise in any of these um, sort of fields is necessary. Um, you know, we just want sort of cool people um, who were able to teach and yeah, nothing more than that we could ask. Um, and then finally, the stage crew. Um, is responsible for building, you know, all of our sets and doing all of our lighting, sound work, and all of that um, for both of our shows. Um, as I mentioned, one on campus and one in our own theater. Um, and also, you have the opportunity to get involved with um, sort of uh, opportunities with other performing arts groups um, and do tech and lights and sound for them too. Um, you know, which a lot of our of our uh, uh, stage crew folk. Um, end up doing. So, you know, if you're interested in building things or interested in stage tech, um, this could be a really interesting and neat opportunity for you. So last slide here. Overall, at the end of the day, you know, if you love any of these things or you really just want to have fun and, and be a part of a great group of people on campus, um, Mask and Wig is certainly for you. Um, you know, you don't have to pos uh, possess any sort of necessary skill set. Um, but, you know, if you even have an inkling that you want to join this uh, pretty cool group, um, you know, I'd recommend uh, filling out our interest form, certainly on our website. Uh, maskandwig.com and from there you'll get all of the updates around um, you know SAC fair, um, SPAN and um, auditions and all of that good stuff in the in the next couple of weeks and um, I think that's it for me and and without anything further I'll turn it over to Justin and Steph to dive into uh, the bit writing presentation so I'll stop there Awesome. Thank you so much for that, Will. All right. Is everyone seeing my screen? Everyone, everyone seeing? All right. Perfect. Well, hi, everyone. My name is Justin. I am the cast director for WIG. 
Somewhere on your screen in a box is Steph, who is our head writer, and together we head the cast. And we just wanted to take this time in this mini presentation within a presentation to walk you through how we write our bits, how we take an idea, write it, and put it on its feet. So just a fun little roadmap for you all. We'll talk about the process, then we'll look at one particular bit and look at it through the stages, answer any questions you guys might have, and then actually break out into groups and do some writing. So the first part is the process. What are the stages? How do we take an idea and put it on its feet? Well, we have a four-step process, which begins with bit pitching, then leads to bit writing, followed by bit editing, and then putting that bit on stage. The first part is bit pitching, which in my opinion is the most fun part. We get in a circle, we go around one by one and share the ideas we've come up with in the past week or since our last pitching session, and it's just a blast. And, and the best part of that is snowballing, where one person will, maybe Steph will give an idea and I, that will make me think of something else that we could, another path we can take that bit down or another bit that made me think of it. And just doing that, we collaborate and we just have a blast. And there are two types of pitches we normally um, are organized under, usually a scenario and a premise or a guy who. And just to walk you through that, as a, the name implies, scenarios and premises are just scenarios and premises that are funny and we want to explore comedically. This could be a dance circle that turns out to be a cult, an NPR show promoting pirate songs, or an almond milk farm that brutally murders its almonds. And then also we have guy who's, and that's where we just try to find funny ways to finish the sentence guy who. Where can we take it? The opportunities are endless. Could be a guy who has feet for ears, a guy who mugs people using Venmo, or a nurse who reads out patients' illnesses extremely loudly. Believe it or not, all six of these ideas were pitched, written, and performed in our shows to great success. So really, there's no limit to what we can write, and these are usually the avenues we use to organize it. Then we get into the actual bit writing. That's where we break off into groups uh, based off the interest when we were pitching, we brainstorm the characters, we brainstorm the dialogue, we brainstorm the stage direction, everything that would go into it. We write a first draft and put pen to paper. At the end of the day, we perform the bits that we wrote for each other and it's just so much fun. After we have a week or two of writing, then we get into bit editing, where we break into groups again, discuss what worked for some bits, what didn't, clean it up, maybe rewrite a few portions if necessary, and just really transform these bits into cleaner copies. And this is when you really see these bits to, they really start to shine and you really see the value that they hold and how we can put them on their feet. And finally, you put it on stage. You cast it, you rehearse it, you work with the crew and the biz staff on tech and costumes and props, you perform it and you get so much fun from the audience, which is filled with Penn students, Penn faculty, your families, the greater Penn community. It's just an incredible feeling and the process itself is just so much fun. Now, I watched you through the process, a lot of information. Let's talk about how we actually took a bit and went through the process. So over to Steph, who is going to talk to us a little more about that process. Hey guys, so we're gonna look at uh, uh, one of my favorite bits that I actually got to see from uh, writing to actually performing it, uh, which is called Ice or Broken Glass. Um, so let's take a look at where we started out with uh, a, from the bit pitching portion. So as you can see, it says, Guy guesses if he's eating ice or broken glass. Now, uh, as a classic case of Guy who, um, uh, but I mean, like, where would we take this? Uh, well, we sort of snowballed a little bit and we eventually thought, okay, what about turning it into a game show, a game show about ice or broken glass, which we can see here in the bit writing process. We started off with a little bit of brainstorming about our contestants. It says three, but we ultimately ended up with four, but um, you can see like there's a big fan of the show. He loves to be on it. Um, there's a weird dude who loves broken glass. 
There's a contestant two with just blank. Um, and then we also had some ideas about what the actual show could look like. There's spin the wheel, uh, there's a pick a briefcase. And then you can see some of the actual lines. Um, we have some like little italics for our actual like uh, motions, of course. It's like pretty, uh, like a little bit of a standard stuff, but yeah, um, let's take a look at bit editing then. So after we finish writing a bit, um, we tend to uh, put that bit through a process of uh, editing. Um, usually it can be one edit or two edits even. Um, but as you can see here, uh, we cut out uh, this pick a briefcase portion, portion um, because we noticed that, of course, uh, having someone come out with a briefcase is gonna uh, ultimately uh, make our bit a little bit slower and um, we wanted to tighten it up and make it faster and more concise and funny with uh, a lot of consistent beats. But yeah, um, then we get to the bit being performed on stage. Uh, here are a couple of pictures. You can also uh, find this bit on our Instagram at Mask and Wig. You can also check it out on Facebook and YouTube. We posted it up pretty recently, about like five or six days ago, or within those days. I don't know, time's been getting... Uh, a little bit drowned out, but um, yeah, uh, you got some pictures, you got some videos, and uh, it was a great performance. Uh, but yeah, any questions? Oh, if you're has any questions about the process, feel free to ask them. Yeah, and you guys can type these in the in the chat real quick um, because you won't be able to unmute until you get into the breakout rooms. Um, oh. But if any anyone has that. Um, you know, you can toss them in the chat now, um, or we can just wait until the Q&A at the end. So we'll give it a couple seconds. All right. Okay, so- <laughs> Great questions. <laughs> so oh, Ahmed asks, us, do the bits have to be funny? Um, highly recommended, uh, not always necessary, but highly recommended. Um, if that if that's the only question we'll be fielding, then why don't we break out into groups and actually let's all do some writing ourselves. Yeah, so uh, just a little preface, you'll be going into some breakout rooms with a couple of our cast members. Um, and we will sort of focus on maybe a topic and because you only have about 30 minutes. So we want to get you guys started off and uh, sort of brainstorming ideas and hopefully even uh, putting a dent into, into some writing. So let's, uh, let's have some fun and hang out. Awesome. So I'll send you guys off into the breakout rooms. You'll have until about 2.50ish, and then we'll call everyone back. Sweet. All right. Awesome. Awesome. OK, um, I hope you guys enjoyed all of that. Um, you know, I'm sure not everyone sort of got through um, fitting um, all of the all of what you did into a, sort of a cohesive bit, um, but maybe if we want to just sort of go one by one through the breakout rooms and and see sort of where you guys um, ended up. So I will stop the screen share here so that we can see everyone's face. And um, Safraz, you want to give a or let your your folks introduce what you guys were doing. Of course. So, you know, you'll see a lot of posers in the comments. Some notable posers include Justin and Jackson. They're, they're very well known for capping. But uh, our group, which consisted of it was me and Alexander and Sam and Reed, we had a phenomenally productive bit pitching session. And we even got a little bit into some bit writing. So um, I don't know if you guys uh, will. Are they able to unmute themselves and speak for themselves here? Yeah, they should be able to. Perfect. Well, if any of my, my three lovely freshmen would want to maybe unmute themselves, and this is, a, this is a very brave ask, but maybe give a quick recap of the couple of different bits that we kind of were thinking about and snowballing, and then maybe even a very, very quick read of the two lines of dialogue that we wrote. So... You know, uh, if any, so yeah, we, we did write a, uh, a fully flushed out bit in case you guys are wondering. So um, my lovelies come off of, uh, come off of mute and uh, 
and let's share our gloriousness with the rest of these folks. Yeah, so our our first idea was a guy who can only read upside down, um, which developed into the guy must be upside down. Um, so should I should I give our bid a read? Yes, absolutely. All we have it. All right, here we go. Here we go, guys. <laughs> Lights up on an elementary classroom with a teacher and three students. They are learning how to read. The teacher says, "Okay, kids, today we'll be learning how to read." Kid one says, okay, I'm ready to give it a try. And that's all, yeah. <laughs> and unfortunately, due to time constraints, uh, we weren't able to keep writing this bit, um, but, we, but we had some, some fire that was about to come out and you guys already know. Um, and then some other um, big winners that we had in our bit pitching session. Um, you know, we had Reed pitch, you know, Amy Gutman on Shark Tank, who is actually trying to pitch for a tuition raise um, which I thought was was sick. So we were also planning on writing that. Um, what else do we have here? We actually had, I think it was, I think it was Alexander who um, pitched a bit that Cass was literally writing, which was like parents trying to recreate the freshman experience at home, which was sick. Um, and some other wonderful, wonderful bit ideas. I don't want to take up too much time, but I will end it off by saying that we also had some insane animal impersonations. Um, you know, we did an absolutely incredible whale. Um, still reeling over that Oscar-worthy performance. Um, but yeah, that was our group. Uh, it was a good time. We did some pitching, but did some writing. Um, but yeah, now I'll throw it back to Will or whatever group wants to go next. But great job, guys. Y'all killed it. Awesome. Thanks so much. And definitely my animal impression was the worst out of all of them. So, um, uh, Zachariah, do you want to go through uh sort of what your group went over zach's out of the picture i'm not sure <laughs> if he just left but oh he's back oh, oh you take it away zach oh absolutely hey so uh our group we went through a few uh good pitching picked up we got great snowballs from our freshmen so we started with the passive aggressive middle-aged mothers with, like karen's and soccer moms uh then uh, Max Mester, who can't be here right now, he, has, he had actually been, like, having bit pitches for his own, so he gave us some of his good ones. He gave us uh, stars um, at the bar, which is, like, celebrities trying to defend, like, people's cases. Uh, and then we got Game of Thrones guy signing up for Mask and Wig. <laughs> then that evolved into Game of Thrones guys trying to join a Zoom call. And that evolved into medieval guy just in COVID times. And that led to our amazing bit. Uh, it's pretty short. Uh, can we read through it? Anyone want to say yay or nay to that? Yeah, go for it. Yeah. All right, say. Uh, <laughs> all right, Asher, do you want to be uh, Joe Biden? Okay, sure. <laughs> all right. Uh, D, I, are uh, you okay. D, yeah, oh, the Guy leave too? Ah, uh, okay. Um, all right, where's Jack? Jack was here, though. He, he came late in our group. Yeah. I, there I, you are. Last hey, are you, still looking at the, are you still looking at the doc? Yeah, I'll look at the doc. I didn't even get to read it yet, but I'll, I'll, I'll just cold read it. <laughs> here, okay, here. You be Obama, and I'll be Melania. Let me know when you're ready. Okay, good. All right, sick. Okay, I see it. All right, I'll, I'll see you soon. LARPing friends. Good morrow, my friends. I'll see you in a fortnight. Uh, wait, they like a get like the game? No, you don't. Two weeks from now, read the book on medieval sayings I gave you. Uh, okay, whatever. Cut to Joe walking down the street with no mask, singing an ancient song with too much breathiness. People are physically avoiding him. He's loud and he sucks. Okay, this is a little improv song. Happy birthday to you. Okay. <laughs> um, are you out of your mind? Ever hear of COVID? JB starts touching his head with worry. Yes. What do you mean? Sir, you need to wear a mask. She holds it up. Ah! What is that? JB brandishes his sword and 
cuts it in half and runs home. Oh my God, what in the devil was that? He looks to the cat and covers his ears. I'm so sorry, COVID. He's super cute with his cat. He walks to his, Ale- his Alexa. Alexa, how do I protect myself from COVID? Uh, just wear a mask. JB finally puts on the mask. And uh, we didn't get to finish it, but we had an incredible idea from Jack in which the cat named COVID catches COVID and then dies. So uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get back to you guys on that part. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Thanks so much, guys. That's great. Um, <laughs> it's going to be tough to top. Uh, next, uh, Wyatt and Cole's group, you want to give it a shot? Yeah, of course. So we um, had a great pitching and writing session where we came out with like a pretty full bit about the different ways that males and females treat hookup culture, which I thought turned out really well. And I'm super happy and happy with the group that we did. So if, oh yeah, oh, I thought it was on mute for a sec, but okay. Um, So if our group can unmute and we can read through our bit, I'll read for Belvin. Um, what do you guys want to read for? Out of uh, the three, Cole, are you still there? No, no, oh, he's still on his call. But the three of you, I can what be parts Brad. Brad, I'll be Chad. I'll Chad. be Dad. Dad, great. All right. Um, is oh, that we everyone? need a Kyle? We have, we have a Kyle too. I'll re- uh, one of you guys take Kyle as well. Just take both. Come up with two different voices. Okay, I'll I'll do Kyle. All right, I'll do stage directions. Lights up on a fraternity house basement. Inside there are Brad, Chad, Kyle, and Dad. Eight, nine, ten. That was the craziest set yet. Yo, I'm so pumped. Dude, you're getting bigger by the day. No, stop. Your hair is so sleek. What do you use? Uh, oh, dude, stop. Look at you. Your core is literally so tight. I look like Hungry Hungry Hippo. Yeah, bro. Your squats are paying off, bro. Elvin walks in. Everyone stops talking. Oh, you guys are up already? Oh, that's me. Um, (laughs) Kyle, looks like somebody didn't have their morning monster. What's wrong with you? Uh, uh, nothing. I, I was just hoping not to see anyone when I got back. Brad whispers to Chad. Bilvin kind of has a reputation around here for being a man of the night. Kyle, that's also me. <coughs> Whore. <coughs> Bro, is that a hickey? Um, Brad. Yeah, dude. Unlike some guys... Um, this is Brad speaking to himself, but this is clearly directed at Belvin. Yeah, dude. Unlike some guys, I feel like I need a deep emotional connection before I get it on get it on with a chick. I don't just let any random Jill from the street engulf me. Yeah, dude. I joined a fraternity to find my best friends and future best men for my dream wedding, not so I could prance around my dingling like some himbo. <laughs> Guys, it's none of your beeswax, bro. Bro, I swear, bro. You want to go, bro? 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 <laughs> oh, um, <laughs> Kyle, Kyle to, to Belvin. What's your, body con- what's your body count at now? 30? What's wrong with you? Stop, guys. Starts crying. Where? Sorority sister walks in. What's up, bitches? Guess who just scored? Blackout. That's it. Yeah, I'm super happy with it. And it was a fun working Nice, week. guys. Thank you. Awesome. Great work. Um, next one. Steph, you want to go ahead with your group? Yeah. So uh, we, we also went down that same route of uh, looking at frat but more so through the lens of a virtual and more COVID uh, friendly type of route, basically. Um, We also looked at like, just like 
what would the freshman year experience at home look like? Uh, just things that like, um, uh, like that, that, that we would normally have, uh, but over virtual and stuff. Uh, Dave isn't here right now, but he said that our group was sick and I can't agree more. Um, we did a little bit of writing on a bit uh, about where uh, pledges are delivering masks to the brothers. Um, and right now we only have a couple of lines, but I'm gonna have uh, my two dope freshmen, Leanne and Sierra, uh, calling you guys out. Read for uh, Jeff and Frank. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna read the stage directions, but are you guys good with that? Yeah. yeah my awesome. Husband. Awesome. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and read some stage directions. Uh, lights up on two brothers talking about their pledges. Did you get the fakes for the pledges, bro? Yeah, I got them. I know a guy at Penn State. Penn State? Are you kidding me? No one would believe a medical degree from Penn State. Nah, man, it's basically Penn. You can't even tell the difference. All right, all right, I trust you. And then some pledges join or something, maybe some pledges with camera on and one has the camera off, but that's all we had, uh, some good old Penn State pen humor. But uh, people came up with some good ideas, like uh, like perhaps like uh, people are at a frat party and they're like, oh, let's go get shots. And then they go over to like a vaccine station uh, that's giving out vaccine shots. And maybe there's freshman bartending hand sanitizers, but like, like it's like still alcohol, bro, 99 proof, you know, more bro, uh, more frat. Uh, yeah, but yeah, my, uh, my group was sick. Awesome. We're killing it. Oh, those are great. Those are great. Also, um, go ahead. Oh, oh, never mind. Never mind. I got nothing. I got nothing. <laughs> awesome. Um, yeah. Thanks, guys. Uh, two more groups. Um, Eli and oh. Jackson. You want to go through um, your group? Wait, I forgot to mention. Michael was also in my group. He also killed it. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> Big ups to Michael. Um, yeah, Eli and Jackson. Yeah, um, Brandon and Anshul, do you wanna unmute yourselves? We could talk about ours. Yeah, uh, could I be Michael? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think just to give an overview, we were kind of talking just about for icebreakers, what we were all planning or have already declared studying, stuff like that. And one of the things that quickly came up was like, cis classes and like a stigmatization around them and like what would uh cis office hours look like if we were gonna um make it very hyperbolic that kind of thing um so yeah Anshul why don't you do Michael do you want to do Rebecca Brandon Jackson you got random kid one sounds good I'll do stage directions Lights up on Michael, a student in Rebecca's CIS 160 office hours. Kids around him are crying, but he has a plan. Rebecca is talking to a group of students trying to comfort them. Shh, don't cry. It'll all be okay. There's only so much I could do for your 20%. I need this course to complete my minor, so it looks good for McKinsey, Google, Bain, Goldman Sachs. Yeah, good luck getting an, an on-campus interview if you haven't already interned there already. This comp sci class isn't gonna shape, isn't gonna save your shoddy resume. My father will hear about this. Random kid one leaves in a fuss. Um, Miss Brown, I actually have a question for you. Oh, just call me Rebecca, but remember we're not friends. Well, I didn't do too well on the last exam and I really wanna do better next time. But, and I hear that proofs by induction are your specialty. Would you mind looking at my code? Okay. Um, there. If we're on a first name basis, there were more than just strangers. Yeah, I'm your TA, anything else? No, wait, there's more. If, if Rebecca and I see each other on a weekly basis and we're more than strangers, then we must be dating? Then Michael pulls out a bouquet made of from computer chips and wires. And that's as far as we got. <laughs> nice. Great work, guys. Great work. Our group, um, we were the best. 
Oh, you guys killed it. You did. Um, and last but not least, um, Charlie and Grayson. Yeah, and no. all with the hat. Um, cool. Um, Charlie and I were in a group with Robert and Christian. Um, we, yeah, we we got some good pitches in about uh, people like forget how to socialize in person um, after 2020 because they've only been on Zoom. Um, and also a guy, the guy who names walkie talkies like named everything. Um, so that's kind of what we ran with, uh, just like a world where, yeah, every everything is kind of named in that sing songy fashion. Um, so let's take it away, Christian and Rob. You guys want to read our? Oh my God! I just read that message in the document. <laughs> okay, I'll just start. I'll, I'll be the moderator. Awesome. <laughs> Good evening. Coming to you live from New York City, we have the first presidential screamy shouty of the year. Tonight, President Morgan Tallywacker and Doug will face off to fight for their thinky dewies, or should I say, thinky not dewies. Now for the opening remarks from each candidate. I have the best keepy outy. It's beautiful, amazing. All the people at the keepy outy have the best pointy shooties. Also, I want to note that Doug is like Beyonce and Shakira. It's just Doug, and that's his campaign slogan. <laughs> that's Doug. Yeah, that's as far as we got, but we were just gonna kind of keep running with the nouns. Um, yeah, with switching up the nouns um, in the presidential debate world. Um, yeah, we had a great time, had great ideas. Massive props to Christian and Rob. Awesome, awesome. All right, thanks so much, guys. All of those were super, super awesome. Um, I think just, you know, a couple last things. Um, if you guys haven't already, you can fill out our interest form on the website, uh, maskandwig.com, and, you know, you'll get the updates for when auditions start and all of that good stuff and any more sort of events like this that we're hosting. Um, there's a couple more over the next, you know, week and a half or so. Um, I'm dropping a survey in the chat that NSO um, is requiring sort of everyone do at the end of these preceptorials. So please uh, take a chance to, um, to, to get that through. I'll also send it in an email afterwards. All right, y'all have to stop messaging so that you can see where the link is. Um, but yeah, I'm going to stop the recording here and then we can have just like an open Q&A um, if you guys have any questions, uh, feel free to like say them out loud or um, chat them also. So 